so it's flawless coverage that minimizes your skin's imperfections. And the best part, you don't have to lift a finger. Master artist Stephanie Fry is here to show us how true beauty of airbrush can actually be yours. Mm -hmm. So you've got this gun here. Yes. You've kind of been loading it behind the yes. scenes. Um, you know, first of all, what is airbrush makeup for people who don't know? It is just a type of um, makeup, the difference between traditional and airbrush. Um, the main benefit of it is it does last longer okay. than um, traditional makeup, and it is also water and transfer resistant. So although it's still makeup, um, you have to be mindful with it, but it, do, it is more durable than um, traditional makeup. So when you said that it's more durable and it lasts longer, how long can we expect this to last? Up to 18 hours. Okay. So. And what are you hours. working on right now? Because it's kind of like, you know, I, I'm getting an up close and personal view. It seems like you're a few inches away from your model's skin. So I stay about four to six inches away from the face. And then I, the, the beauty of airbrush makeup is you can actually build up your coverage. Okay. So I always start light coverage. And of course my um, model here has flawless skin. So um, we don't have to do too much coverage, but it's always best to start lighter and then um, build up coverage. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at some before mm -hmm. and afters. What are some of the biggest skin imperfections that you've actually been able to cover, whether it was building up that coverage or just with the technique? I have done a number of different clients with different um, skin imperfections, such as burns, um, hyperpigmentation, acne, um, any imperfection airbrush can cover Okay, 100%. Well, that is so remarkable. Um, of course, we just saw really great examples of some of your work. Now it looks like you're kind of touching up her cheeks and working, you know, when you're working on a, on a plan there, mm -hmm. where do you actually go from? You started with the forehead and then went throughout the face? Yep, I work down um, all around the face. That way I have an actual map of what I'm doing um, to see where I'm covering up. Um, and then you mentioned something about it being more durable. Does that mean it's less likely to smudge? Yes. So, um, and like I said, it's still makeup. So you still want to be mindful. You don't want to touch your face with it um, constantly, but it is going to stay on a little bit or a lot better than traditional makeup. So, and then I actually do the contour and the blush with um, airbrush as well. So. Okay. So did you just put in a darker uh, color yep, now? Yep. This is the contour. Okay. So this is just um, two steps lighter than her foundation. It's called soft brown. And we're just going to kind of go on the upper cheekbone and then have you lean this way. Perfect. Okay, well that looks wonderful. And you know, adding in that contour, of course, a darker color, but you mentioned a cheek color as well. Yes, I will be doing, um, this is a really warm blush color um, by Dynair. It's called Peach Pink. And I actually apply this a little bit different than the other, um, other way I do circles versus um, yeah. Well, we just Lines. saw some more great work of yours, yes. actually just seeing all the different looks that you've done, but now you're adding in that pink color for yes. some nice glow. Yes. And then is this waterproof and like kind of does it run at all? I wouldn't say waterproof. Um, like I said, it's water resistant. So it's it's going to stay on, but you you can't probably jump into a pool and expect it to stay perfect. So. Okay, and how long does the whole application take? Right now we're doing it in like four minutes. Oh but. yeah, um, I allow 45 minutes per bridesmaid if I'm doing a wedding or an hour for a bride. Um, that's with eye makeup and everything. For the airbrush, airbrush makeup, I would say, I mean, we're complete now. So that's the other beauty of airbrush wow. makeup is it doesn't take a long time. You don't have to clean your brushes um, and it blends itself. So it sets itself, there's no powder. Um, and now we're done. And okay. she has a full face of makeup. And then and you flawless. obviously don't stay with somebody the entire day. She looks no. great now, yep. but let's say she needed a little touch up throughout mm -hmm. the day. Would she be able to do that herself? Um, you could, I, I, no, you don't really need it. Okay. You just don't. It sets itself and it stays all day. So you, you wouldn't need it. If somebody's more oily, I would powder them, but otherwise, yeah. Um, okay. It stays for the rest of the day, for okay. the whole day. <laughs> and then how does it do in humidity, right? Because we're getting into that one of those warm Kansas City summers, yes. more likely. There are different formulas with Dynair. So um, whenever I do weddings for summer months or you're going to be extra sweaty, sweaty, I will use a, a specific formula. So that way it stays on a little bit better than um, if you weren't to be hot. Okay. So. Well, I'm taking a look at it and it <laughs> looks awesome. Thanks. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. Phil?